How good does that feel? Just uh, not only, you know, not only to, to beat that specific team the way you guys did, but the way you guys played that atmosphere. How does it feel? And stuff? You know, playing our, play our standard uh, is awesome. I mean, I talked about it last week. You know, it's us versus us. You know, we're playing to our standard uh, to go out there and execute. You know, I know the second half didn't look as pretty, but you know, a win's a win. Uh, and what's awesome is that we get this next week to go and look at the film and correct those mistakes uh, on both sides of the ball, uh, make sure it doesn't happen again. Uh, so, you know, it's awesome to, to be 2-0. You have to wait a half to play the last year against these guys. How good did it feel right away in the first series? You, you bat the ball, you get a set, you sack right away. Yeah, I knew how I was going to be approaching this game. Uh, you know, last year they didn't get all 60 minutes, but uh, I knew this year that I was going to make sure they knew who I was uh, all 60 minutes. How are guys just feeding off each other? I mean, you kind of taking turns getting sacks there in the first half. Uh, could you just feel the energy taking off one, one another? I mean, yeah, more than the merrier, right? I mean, when we had four at one point from four different dudes, you know, four, four from Wendy's, right? Like, it was just awesome just to go on the sideline, hype each other up, you know, but, you know, our goal was to get one more, one more, one more every drive we went out there. You know, we were getting there. Uh, he's, you know, he's, he's a great quarterback, though, so, you know, he's able to be elusive or, or you know, get the ball out quick, so, yeah, no, a lot of kudos to them. Ty, coach said this team's still learning to try to play with a lead. How, how do you assess that performance in the second half after how dominant the first 30 were? Yeah, you know, again, you got, you know, those older guys, and then you have a lot of younger guys as well. Uh, and since, you know, since I've been here, you know, it's been a lot of tough games, you know, battling to the very end. So learning how to, you know, what it means to stay focused, you know, not not relax, not, not you know, freak out when, you know, the score isn't pretty going our way or their way. but. Uh, and, you know, just make sure to stay in the moment, uh, going out there one play at a time for those drives. And, you know, I think that's how we ended up winning. Just just kept reminding everybody, you know, stay in the moment, one play, one play, one play. How did that atmosphere stack up to, compared to games that you've played in, in the past? You know, that's probably the second, uh, second loudest I've heard. Uh, I think Michigan 2021 was probably the loudest I've heard. Uh, but, you know, when I'm out there, you don't really, you don't really hear it when you get your stance, when you're trying to communicate with each other. So. It's really hard to like really take it in, uh, you know, sit on the sideline and get to listen to them cheer for the offense. You know, I mean, can't really talk to the dude right next to you. Ty, how much did you guys feed off of that energy in the first half when things were building and you were getting momentum and things were happening your way really in every phase of the game? I mean, that's just, you know, how we wanted to come out uh, starting the game, you know, dominance. We wanted them to feel us. Uh, so, you know, when we went out there, I was really happy that coach was like, no, nah, let's we win this top, let's defer, let the defense go out. And I think it's awesome because, you know, defense is a real tone setter for the game. And I think we, you know, accomplished that goal today. Uh, you guys haven't started a year 2-0 since 2016. I mean, just to get over that hurdle that's kind of played in Nebraska, how big was that for the program? I mean, yeah. I mean, if you, if you think of it like that, but then you can think of it as 1-0, right? And so to go 1-0 every week, you know, you end up at the end of the season being 12-0. And then you go into the playoffs or whatever, the, off season, or the postseason. Uh, I think I, I think that's what this team does a great job of. It's not really looking at in terms of a whole, but really going one and all. I mean, we got it on posters, everyone pieces of paper all throughout the facility. One and all, whoever the opponent is. Ty, did uh, I block the block field goal? Was that something from in from during this week that you thought was a possibility? Yeah, we knew that he was going to kick it low, low and hard, or like, like kind of a low line drive. Uh, so we just made sure. Got our five steps, and I made sure to jump as high as I could because I knew that ball was going to – I almost blocked the second one that he missed. It just went right past my face when I jumped. Uh, but, you know, we had a mistake on – we had an MA on that. You know, someone was be, supposed to be right next to me, so it might have been blocked. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, no, we knew he was going to be kicking it up. Could, did, could you sense that Shadour was getting frustrated even early or eventually? I mean, yeah, well, it, you know, if I was in that, that position where I, you know, I'm getting hit that many times, whether I have the ball or not, I'd be pretty frustrated as well. Uh, but, you know, we don't really worry about that. We just know what it's going to do to him, and we're just going to keep feeding off of that to help us, you know, with our energy and make sure, you know, we keep that momentum going uh, and take advantage of that. Were you on the field on the, on the Tommy kick and just what, yeah. was, what was the feeling like uh, when that happened? For you? Yeah, no, I, th I definitely thought they were going to run the ball. Uh, we ran a, stamp, a stunt in, uh, in the interior. Uh, and then all of a sudden I look out to him throwing that ball and I just see Tommy come from at it, you know, right behind him, just, just pick it and take it to the end zone. I, I did go over and I like jumped him. I was freaking, well, you know, I cracked <laughs> up a little bit. And 
and I was excited. <laughs> that was awesome. All good. All right. Thanks, Doug. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Rick, can you take me through that wild play at the end of the first half that resulted in a touchdown for you? Yeah, I was supposed to uh, get it a little cleaner, break it inside a little cleaner, but uh, out of miracles just happened, I guess. And it just happened to fall out of my hand. I kept, uh, kept tracking the ball, and yeah, then it was a touchdown. It, it feel like you maybe punched it. Yeah, he had it, and I just kind of like tapped it up, and the ball was fine, caught it, and then the rest is history. Have you ever had a made up make a play like that before? Yeah, that's my first time. <laughs> up 28 nothing. What was the mindset at that point? Obviously, you guys almost played a little closer to the best offense just trying to run the game. I mean, what was your mindset as a team up 28 nothing? Finishing. Finishing. That was the, uh, the motto all week. Just finish them. Don't have to come back in the game. Yeah, I was there by Monster during that, during that point. <clears throat> I said, I Rob, I said this was the loudest game, maybe the only other comparable one was Michigan in 21, which you obviously had a big game in, too. What did a game to be back in that type of electric atmosphere and play like you did? Now, I feel it's good, you know, I feel good in front of the fans, putting on a show, you know, in front of them, and um, I would say it's probably the loudest game I ever been involved in, probably the loudest game in that Michigan game a couple years ago. So, I felt great being this one and being that team. Ramir, what do you think tonight's game said about this team? Uh, you know, it's a long season, but it, you know, we we we're coming, we coming. Got a lot of good players, a lot of good, uh, got a good coach uh, brewing up, and um, we just got to win every week. Want to know? So this is one game. We want to know next week. Got to win again. What's it like for you watching that defense operate when you can six sacks tonight? And just how they play? Phenomenal. You know, they played that all week since camp. It's like I said last week, like really no surprise because I've seen it for months now. So I know people gonna go out there and play their game, and we love to see that as offense. Did it feel chippy at times? I mean, the rivalry of you in Colorado. Yeah, yeah, at times you know they're talking on the sidelines and stuff like that. You know, little jabbers, but we stay focused on the game and getting the W. You've been here since 2019. How, how good does it feel to finally get one against these guys? I feel good. I've been 0 2 now, um, 1 and 2. So I feel it's good to get this dub for my last year as well. So very excited, very excited. And this is a good game in the fact that you win by a nice score. <coughs> Coach Rule is saying, I mean, there's a lot you can clean up this year. No, 100%. A lot of stuff I'm going to clean up. You got to watch the film. I'm sure you're going to get cursed out for certain things. <laughs> I know. But uh, the main point thing, we got the W, and I'm sure Coach will be happy with that. How do you feel like you've come along in the running back room to, to be able to, to get as much production as you did today going into the season? It was kind of a challenge to all four of you to step up. Uh, like I said earlier, it's still a long season, but I think I did, you know, what I had to do to be on the field and make plays for the team. And I'm going to keep doing that because it's going to be a long season. You never know what can happen. And uh, we got a good running back room for sure. Hey, you bet it. Remember, you guys have had so many games through the years where it just seems like things haven't gone your way. Like, no matter what the reason for that was, they just haven't haven't gone your way. Um, first half, just about everything went went your way, and you know, obviously the touchdown catch that you had, like that could have gone a different way. What, what what's it what, what's it like to be a part of that where it was just snowballing in, in the direction that you wanted? I think it's just the culture we've been brewing since you know January, even last year as well. Um, you know, everybody just want to win, and uh, we trust in the process, and the process seemed to work. That's why we got, you know, what it looked like today. That's why we got the dub. So. Okay. How much is this team just still learning how to win? You guys haven't been at 2-0 at the start since 2016. Yeah, you know, we, we, we're still learning the process. Um, like I said, with the goal for us, each week is go 1-0. And as long as we can do that, you know, it's going to take us a long way. That's it. All right. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tommy, how much did you circle this opportunity for you going against an offense like Colorado's tonight? Uh, it was a team sport, secondary. Uh, you know they were really a passing team, so we had to get our head straight during the week. Um, just by the name of them, we don't care who we play. We're just ready to play anybody. So. Take us through the uh, pick six. What were you expecting? I mean, just what do you see from your vantage point around? Uh, 
after pinning the punt on the two yard line, it did all the momentum uh, that came to me. Uh, having Nash in the middle, um, having JB, uh, we just hyped each other up and I called it out before we went to the game. I said it was going to be a big city for me today, so and I got it. I'm grateful for it. Do you have that feeling every game, or was there just something special about coming into this one? I had that every game, but I just didn't really like Colorado, so it became more of being more competitive today. Any additional satisfaction that uh, Travis Hunter won't be the premier quarterback talked about tonight? Uh, I already knew if he's going against me, he's going to face a dog, so I don't care what his name was, he just knew he was going to get the best out of me. So. You got chippy there a little bit in the second quarter. What, what did you guys say to each other in that little exchange where he was kind of on your sideline talking to the whole sideline? Uh, I told him it was going to be a rough game for you. Uh, <laughs> I told him it ain't not going to be easy for you. You know, by uh, all you trads and the rest of the trads, I was like, okay, I'm going to show you. He just got, I got his head in the first and second quarter. So third quarter, he wasn't talking to me at all. Maybe it's nothing because you guys, I know, run down there and sometimes pray at that one that line. But it seemed like a lot of guys lingered while Colorado came out today. Were, were, did you want to set a tone early on was with that or, or was there anything there? No, we didn't want to set the tone uh, as a team. Just not being disrespectful but respectful. And until they go past, um, we still had to break for ourselves and for the team, uh, for the family and stuff. Um, it just... It wasn't really no thing until the kickoff, so we was ready after that. What's going through your head through some of those first Colorado drives when it's third and long and the stadium is just roaring? What, can you talk about that atmosphere tonight? Uh, we had to go to the sideline and have hand suggestions, so we couldn't hear nothing. <laughs> so we had to make up some more things to uh, get more communication across the board, and it worked perfectly fine. Coach Rule said Bud Crawford talked to the team and got a game ball. How did how that help? You know, looking at how you fought Spence, I guess you did this week too, and just, just what he told you guys. Uh, when he's going in the rain, he don't care who his opponent is. Uh, he always stay calm and uh, out counters. And if they make a play, we're going to have to come back and counter it. And um, just uh, stay calm in the moment. Uh, don't be overhyped. Just, we want to play out of time, one bunch at a time. Anything else for Tommy? When's the last time? You're, when's your last pick six? Well, <laughs> high school. High school. Yeah. A little harder than that one tonight? Yeah. I liked it out. <laughs> <laughs> All good. All right. Thank you, Tommy. Appreciate that. Dylan, what was that atmosphere like? I mean, it was a bit different from last week, of course, but getting Memorial Stadium packed and as loud as it got, what was that like for you out there on the field? Yeah, it was awesome. I I mean, I couldn't put it in the words how special of a fan base we have. And they constantly show up for us, and I really appreciate them. And, um, yeah, it was just a lot of fun. Uh, I think the main thing was trying to, trying to breathe and relax, you know, take the emotion and use it for the good. And, um, yeah, just play ball. So, yeah, it's fun. You seem pretty fired up. What was the mood like in, in that locker room after that one? Yeah, we were fired up. Uh, we know wins wins are hard to get in this in this, uh, in this this game, and uh, we're going to cherish and celebrate every one. Um, but, you know, this one meant a little more to us. Rivalry game, things that were said last year. Um, proud of our guys who went out there and handled what we needed to handle. Did you watch the last year's Colorado game live? I did. Yeah, I watched it live. I watched it on tape three, three or four times this week as well. So, just, just it feels good to get that taste out of your mouth um, and come out with victory. How'd you feel about the the offense and its ability to be physical in the early part of the game to set the tone? Yeah. Um, you know, obviously that's that's our foundation. That's what Husker football. You know, that's what their offenses are, are built on: is physicality and. I um, couldn't say enough about my old line going out there and, and, and just covering people up and moving people off the ball. Receivers blocking, being physical, and running back, finishing runs, and, and making plays. So it was a team team win, team effort, and um, we're just happy we were 1-0 right now.
Near the end of the first half, you got that 18-yard pass to, to Johnson, and, and he's kind of bobbling it there at the very end. What's going through your head as you're watching, and it's it's a contested play between him and the Colorado defender. You're like, oh, dear, am I about ready to give up my first interception on one of those bobbly-type plays? And there is, he's able to finally hoist it in there for the score. Yeah, I just had a lot of trust in Ramir put in the spot, and um, I mean, it went our way. And um, I mean, I, ju I just threw it and, and uh, put it in a spot that Ramirez could make a play, and he did. And, um, you know, we're just, just a good way to end the half. feels good that those situations we practice um, get put into, put into the game situation. How do you think the complimentary football really showed itself when things were rolling early on? Oh, it was great. Um, our defense is the best defense in the country. I, uh, I believe that. I see it every day in practice, and... Um, you know, to, to be an offense with that kind of defense is, is special. You know, uh, you know, there's no pressure, no, you know, feel like you're pressing when you when you don't score or you don't get points, and um, it's just it's just a good, comforting feeling on our offensive side. But you know, at the other, on the other end, we had to hold up hold up our side, and um, I feel like we did, and I'm happy that, that we uh, you know play complimentary. Do you think you proved something tonight with this one? Uh, I think our team just proved that that we're. Um, you know, we're just we're just trying to stack days and stack wins and um, just just take it week by week. And uh, no, I, I think our team we knew what we had. Um, just just a lot of other people didn't know what we had. So, um, but that that's the best part about us believing in everything in house and keeping outside noise outside. Were you surprised the students came on the field like that afterwards? Yeah, I, I didn't really know what to expect. I uh, I heard the PA guy say no rush in the field and. Well, I mean, I, that didn't work. So <laughs> yeah, I, was, I, was, I was just trying to, uh, yeah, I was trying to find find some players on their team and, and wish them a good game. But unfortunately, they had left the field early, and um, whatever, so be it. But um, yeah, so talked to Coach Prime, told him, um, you know, good game. And after that, it's like, where's my family at? You know, I wanted to, to go see them and be with them. Did you Yeah, I found them. Yeah. It was, Where's my family at? So. <laughs> you talked earlier in the week about what your dad said to you about this rivalry. What was that conversation like with him afterwards? Yeah, he literally said, we're still in the feed against Colorado. So, <laughs> like, yeah. That's the first thing you said, Dad? Awesome. So, that <laughs> yeah, was good. I'm, glad, I'm just glad we won. So, uh, it feels good. What did you want him to say? I, I honestly don't know. I just I just wanted to give all my whole family a big hug and, and appreciate and you know, so grateful for, for everything that they've done for this journey and um, so glad that they, they just they show up every time for me and I'm very blessed. What do you think you can what do you think you can you can take away from the second half? Yeah, uh, I mean you can call it a lull, you can you can call it whatever, but I feel like we we're in full control the whole game and um, I'm just you know, it's, it's it's a good it's a good feeling to have when you have control and you know that you know you can run the ball and um, you know, throw it, and you know the penalties. Penalties hurt us, but at the end of the day, knowing that it's self-inflicted things that are stopping you, um, you know you can fix it and clean it up. So, um, yeah, we're gonna come back in, watch the tape, and we're, we're on to the next week. So you didn't get asked last week really to, to use your feet much, other than to get out of the pocket and, and throw. But there was a third and ten on the first drive um, that put you ahead, where, where you got scrambled for twelve yards. Um, how confident are you in, in that part of your game, and, and how did you feel on that run tonight? Yeah, I I feel like I can run when I need to, and you know, I have to, I have to make a play. And, um, yeah, it's just, uh, I mean, I was like, man, I took off, and the dude hit me. I didn't even know where he came from, but um, I'm just I'm just glad we got a first down and kept the chains moving, and hopefully led to a score. So that that uh that felt good after our defense uh, got a stop. And, uh, we just kind of kind of used that momentum and, and we kept pushing, but uh, yeah, I don't I don't mind using my legs. That was actually one of my goals is to rush for you know third down and um, whatever did it. Uh, last one. Say it again. When was the last time? I punted in a sophomore year. I uh, I bladed my 60 degrees. So if you guys know golf, <laughs> but no, I, I should just just gave it a chance, but. Um, yeah, I don't. It's fine. I just, just catch the snap and then you can get it off. So the operation's clean. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.